And Tom Grundy is the editor-in-chief of Hong Kong Free Press, an independent English language newspaper in Hong Kong. And he joins us now. Uh, Tom, less than a third of voters went to the polls in this election, is refusing to vote the last remaining avenue of protest in Hong Kong after dramatic changes to bring the city under Beijing's grip. Yes, just over a million voting in a city of over 7 million. Those we spoke to who weren't uh, casting their ballot yesterday told us it's that pro-democracy figures are not around. Of course, most are behind bars in self-exile abroad, are banned from this race, or have quit politics altogether. On top of that, in a plan that perhaps backfired, all transport was uh, free across the city yesterday, and a lot of Hong Kongers, perhaps because, as you say, uh, most protests have been banned since the onset of security law, they went hiking or shopping and shunned uh, the polls. Usually we would see, you know, a big carnival of, of, of drama and color uh, during these kinds of elections, but we were mostly seeing generally senior voters uh, uh, show up, um, 10,000 police officers as well, and 900 uh, anti-corruption officers. And Beijing saying that, you know, we can still have representation and diversity in these polls, but of all those who were standing yesterday who described themselves as pro-democracy, non-pro-establishment, or centrist or moderate, only one of them won. So you now have a legislature, um, an all-patriots legislature, um, that is generally all traditional pro-Beijing and pro-establishment um, lawmakers. And what will a new legis legislature that is stacked with Beijing loyalists potentially mean for the territory? Well, the city's parliament has already been accused of being a rubber stamp. And last year, all uh, Democrats quit in protest. So we have some idea of how this chamber has been working. And certainly um, a record amount of legislation passed uh, and government spending skyrocketed as lawmakers um, approve legislation. Just like politicians in Beijing, um, there is a risk these incoming lawmakers will be accused of being uh, button pressers. You know, they're sitting there simply um, clicking yes uh, on all government uh, legislation that passes through. We have seen film censorship laws and anti-doxing law uh, go through recently. And already this morning, Chief Executive Carrie Lam was addressing the need uh, for Article 23, another controversial locally legislated security law uh, that could be tabled next year, uh, as well as a fake news law, which will see even tighter controls on the media. Um, so certainly we're going to see less disruption perhaps and filibustering in the chamber, just as Beijing wants. Uh, but we're also going to see a, a lot of legislation pass through that may not always um, be welcome by most Hong Kongers. Tom Grundy, editor-in-chief of Hong Kong Free Press, thanks so much for coming on the show.